All right, hello there. Um, Blues crew. Hey, Tommy. Uh, hello. Um, I'm going to ask for everyone to mute their, um, mute themselves just so it will be, make it easier for this to run smoothly. Cool. If you guys can hear me, give me a thumbs up. Excellent. All right, brilliant. We're going to start off with some with a warm up. Um, sorry, there's just more and more people want to train with me. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're going to start off with uh, just some high skips. Okay, so we've done them before. I'm sure you have. Just some high knee skips, okay? So driving our legs and driving our arms. Look on the side. Good job, good job. Keep going, keep going. Good job. Up nice and high. Really drive that knee and drive your arm through. Good job, all right. Now, from here, we're going to uh, just start and do some, some uh, body weight squats, okay? So putting our arms out in front, and we're going to squat down and see how you can get. When you come up, really drive through when you come up. <laughs> drive through. There we go. There we go. Okay, great. Okay, now since once you've done about 10 of those, we're gonna do some lateral side to side jumps. Okay, so we're gonna jump from the left, we're gonna jump to the right, and we're gonna stick the landing, okay? Jump from the right to the left, and land on one foot and stick the landing, okay? When we do it, we wanna land, we're gonna try and make the landing as quiet as possible, okay? So absorb all the, all the power of the force, from the jump into the leg, okay? We'll try and make it as quiet as possible, okay? So go for 10 of each, 10 on each side. Job. Don't have to go too far to start off with. If you find it a bit challenging, just go a bit shorter. Really try and focus on activating those legs and making the landing very quiet. Okay, those who are just, who are just joining us, we're just starting our warm up. Okay. Now we're gonna do a similar thing, uh, broad jump. So we're gonna just go back from your camera. You're gonna dip down far, arms behind you. I'm going to jump forward and land and try and make the landing quiet again. So we'll just go for five of these. That can be pretty hard, but I want you guys to focus on making that, that landing quiet. Try and almost feel the landing through, your, through your, the front of your legs, through your quads and, and your bum. Great. All right. Now, you guys should have a basketball and a tennis ball. If not, um, go run quickly and grab one, and we'll uh, we'll get started. So, so start. Grab grab a tennis ball and a basketball. Tennis ball and a basketball to start off, boys and girls. There are people joining. All right. I don't know if I started early or if we just got some latecomers, but 
for those who have just joined, we've, uh, we've just done our warm up. So if you've just joined, try and get a little bit loose before we start up. And we're going to get into our, our uh, ball handling with our, our tennis ball dribbling. So once you get your tennis ball and your basketball, we're going to put the tennis ball in our left hand and the basketball in our right hand. We're just going to start off with some pounds, some pounds and tossing the ball up to ourselves. Okay? And we're going to go for 30 seconds. You find it pretty easy, try and challenge yourself. Try and see if you can go lower. Try and go if you try and dribble harder. Pound, 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 pound. Okay. Now, once we've finished that, we're going to go to our left hand. So switch the ball over. And same thing again. Counting with our left hand, throwing and catch with our right. Try and mix up the catches. Just throw some high oh, and drop them like that. Throw some low, really. Change up the dribbles too. Make it hard for yourself. Really challenge yourself. All right. Good job, good job. Now, we're gonna do the same thing. Now we're doing crossover. So we're gonna do one dribble. So we're gonna do pound, crossover, catch. Pound, crossover, oh, whoops. Pound, crossover, catch. Pound, crossover, catch. Pound, crossover, catch. Pound, crossover, catch. Oh, like that. Pound, crossover, catch. Pound. So we're throwing a tennis ball up every crossover and taking a pound after each crossover. Good job. Same again. Try and challenge yourself. See if you can go lower. See if you can go faster. See if you can dribble faster and harder. Good job, good job. Keep going, keep going. Hold on, okay. Now we're gonna try and do the same, but we're gonna go behind our back this time. So we're gonna throw it up, drill behind the back and catch. And the same thing again, we're pounding. Oh, not after we drop it. We're pounding after every crossover behind the back. There we go. Some more space, not like that. Okay, go for it, try your hardest. Okay, if you lose the ball, don't be scared to, to stuff up here, here and there. It means you're getting better, you're trying hard. All right, now, same again. This time we're gonna put our left foot forward. Uh, balls in either hand. Start the ball in your, basketball in your right hand, tennis ball in your left. And we're just gonna go through and catch, through and catch. And you're just gonna keep going back and forth. Ooh, yep. When you're doing this, try and let the basketball just go into autopilot. So see if you can just get used to doing the basketball on its own. And then have the tennis ball, have all your attention on the tennis ball. It'll make it easier. This is really good for any game. When you have a defender pressuring you and you have to protect the basketball, but you also have to make decisions and keep your head up and see who you can pass it to and where you can run and, and all that jazz. All right, let's keep going for a couple more. Keep going for a couple more and we'll switch over, okay? So same thing again, right foot forward, 
the legs bent in a, uh, what do I say this, a ready stance, a playing stance, and we're dribbling through the legs and catching the tennis ball. Getting that off hand, that hand that doesn't have the basketball in it, used to having to stay active. Now these skills are really good for, like I said before, when you got a defender pressuring you and you need to keep that hand away. They're trying to steal it and you keep that hand away. Keep their body away. Good job, good job, keep going. Throw it and catch. Keep going, Reid. Good job. Okay, now for this next one. If you have it, that'd be very good. But we have a second basketball for this next uh, exercise, okay? So what we're going to be doing, if you don't have one, that's okay. You can just sort of do it with one basketball. But we've got two basketballs here. So what we're going to start off with is just hip height, dribbling at the same time, okay? And we're gonna really pound it, really pound the basketball. All right, now, after they've done that, we're just gonna go low. So we're gonna go shin height, below our knees. Blow our knees, take it really low. Same time, still. Now once we've done that, we're gonna go high, okay? We're gonna go high, up to our shoulders, standing up tall, really count it, see if you can go fast and hard. And now we're going to go back to hip hop. This time we're alternating. So one goes down at a time, one at a time. Okay, now go low, go low. Go low below our knee, see how low you can get. We're going to take it up high. Good job, really pound it. Keep going, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Now take a break if you need, just a little one. Go a quick drink if you've got a drink bottle with you. And we'll, uh, we'll get into the next one pretty quick. Who's that? Someone's got their microphone on. It's all right. All right, so we ask everyone to turn their microphones off. Just makes it a lot easier. All right, once we're ready, Get into the next one, same thing, two balls. We're going to, I am lacking space. We're gonna go back and forth, back and forth. Okay, same time. If you have the space, spread your legs, like have a, have a strong base, have a shoulder width apart. I don't, but that's okay. We'll get the job done. We're gonna go back and forth. Uh, like this, back and forth.
Good job, good job. Okay, now we're going to alternate. So one goes back and one goes forward at different times. Oh, I lost it. Again, don't be worried about losing the ball. This means you're trying harder than you're used to. All right, good job. Now, next one is going to be in front. We're going to do this called windscreen wipers. So you're going to go side to side. Oh, not like that. Side to side. We're just going to go hip height. All right, let's go low. Let's go low. Below our knees. Shoulders, windscreen wipers, side to side. And back to hip height. Finish off strong, finish off strong at hip height. Go fast. Here we go. Five, four, four, three, two. One, good job. All right. Now, if you guys have markers, that would be great. So you know where you're going, okay? So you got two markers, I got cones. You can use shoes or, I don't know, anything. Pieces of paper. Okay, that's what I can do. Yeah, all right. So, for this one, um, what we're going to be doing is, I think I call it control dribbling. So, when you're dribbling and just being able to stay in control. So, what I want you guys to focus on for this one is dribbling right beside your foot. Okay? So, right beside it. Even beside your heel or behind your, beside your ankle. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're just going to practice dribbling beside our foot, standing up tall, and then getting lower and lower and just keeping it right beside our foot, okay? So just, if you can learn to just make this your first, your natural dribble, rather than, oops, rather than dribbling in front like this where it's easy to get stolen, it'll be really helpful for you when, you start, when we start playing games again, okay? So just start off in your left hand, start up nice and tall and dribbling it right beside your foot. Okay, same thing again, we're pounding. Try to put a hole through the ball. Okay, now same again. Just hip height now, bend your knees a little. And same again, we got our offhand ready here. Trying to swipe away the defenders who are trying to steal from us. And again, we're gonna go low. Low and just beside our foot. Right beside, oh, not like that. And up again, and swap over. Right hand this time. Starting up high, standing upright. Try and get used to this feel, having the ball at your side, rather than in front of you. Okay, I'm gonna go lower. Yeah, hip height. And now again, lower. By our ankle, by our shin side of our foot. All right, now, with our, uh, our markers, I want you guys to practice going forward. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, if you can see me from there, 
We're dribbling our side. And so we're running forward with our right foot here and we're dribbling again by our side of our foot. Okay, but we're gonna to come to a stop. So we're dribbling and dribble. Okay, if any of you watch NBA, you see Damian Lillard does this a lot. And he's, you know, really a very good player. So I think it'd be good for us to do it. So what we're doing, same again, dribbling at the side of our foot and our side we're going and it's like we're coming to a stop. Okay, defenders in front of us, coming to a stop, okay? So what I want us to do, go to one marker, stop, and then dribble at our side again, cross, dribble at our side, and then dribble at our side, sorry, and again the other side, just at our foot. So we're just practicing him this ball at the side of our foot the whole time. Really practice being in that controlled position where a defender can't steal it from you. Let's show you this way. Okay, good job. Now, this one, very similar. We're on our side this time, and we're just in our stance in defensive spot. So we've got our guard arm up, and we're dribbling behind our foot. So behind our foot, and we're looking this way. Just with our right hand. Now what I want you to do, whenever I say switch, you switch, okay? So when we switch, we cross over in front. We're on the other side. Dribbling behind our foot. Switch. 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 Oh yeah. Switch. Okay, last one, switch. Good job. All right. Now we're going to try and combine these, okay? So what we're going to do is that first forward, that forward stop dribble we did before at our side. And then we're going to rotate into the side, okay? So we're just going to start with trying this out with our right hand, okay? So just trying to get into the rhythm, going forward and back. As you go back, you're turning. Okay, we're staying low the whole time. We're really trying to attack going forward. So it's going forward really fast and then stopping on your right foot. Okay, now I want us to cross over and same again on our left. All at our side, going forward, forward and stopping. So we're dribbling, make sure you've got the ball. You've always got the ball beside your foot. Okay, we're gonna dribble out in front here. We wanna try and dribble at, this, at our side. At our side like this, so not out in front. We're gonna dribble here. And so when we go forward, it's dribbling there at our side. We're gonna go to the side. All right. Now, we are going to do the same thing again, but we're gonna be switching sides every time. So, like we just did before, we're going forward, we're gonna go back, we're going to cross and go side. Once we're on our side, then we go forward and we go back again and cross and we just keep going. And always have that other hand ready, protecting the ball.
job. Good job. Keep going. All right. Now take a quick break if you need it. Grab yourself a drink. I know I'm I'm puffing. I'm sweaty. Um, it's really good what we're doing at the moment, guys. We're still getting the ball in our hands even when the, we don't have a season. Just keeping our skills, keeping our touch. Um, be sure to jump on on Sunday with the hoops fit. Um, and on Monday, again, with our strength conditioning. Uh, guys, so, yeah, check out on the website. See when they're going on again. And, um, yeah, make sure you're on there. So, all right. Um, now, we're going to try out some... Um, some double crosses, okay? So some combination moves where we're just practicing um, two crossovers at once, okay? So so to start off with, we're going to start with a crossover and then between the legs, okay? So start with a ball in your right hand, crossover in between the legs. Oops. When you're doing these ones, uh, try and remember that your eyes can show the defender where you're going, okay? So try and practice, if you're crossing over, try and practice looking in the way that you want to fake your defender, okay? So if I'm going to, oh, sorry, we're doing this one. I'm going to fake looking this way as I really cross over to go back that way, okay? So try and practice looking in the way that you want your defender to think you're going. Okay, now switching hands. Ball in our right, in our left hand now. Same again, crossover through the legs. job keep going keep going good job all right now same again same theme we're going to do an in and out crossover into a crossover so to start out with i'll try and teach you how to do an in and out crossover you have the ball in one hand and you're going to pretend like you're going this way and you're going to bring it back the trick with this is you want to try and keep your hand on top of the ball. So try not to get it underneath and then go like that. That's a carry. We're trying to keep the ball, our hand on top of the ball. And as we do it, we're going to lean our body with the ball. So as I'm going faking that way, I'm going to lean my body with the ball. Okay, so our knees, our hips and our shoulders are all going with the fake. And sort of get used to, get a rhythm, get the feel of having your body try and move with the ball. Be really good to fake out a defender. Okay. Now once we've done that, we're gonna do the same again, but we're gonna add in a crossover at the end. So gonna in and out, and cross.
Hey guys, sorry about that. I um I faced some technical difficulties, but um I just wanted to say thank you for coming in for the session, and um yeah, really happy that you're all still uh, committed to playing basketball and you know and um, and developing your skills. It's it's really good. It'll be very handy once uh, we're all back and playing again, you're going to see our competition. Um, these skills will come in really handy. So yeah, thanks again guys for coming on. Um, be sure to get down to the strength and conditioning session on Monday and the hoops fit on Sunday. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Thanks, Tommy. See you later.